Good morning cultists! In our previous episode, we ended things off after completing a mission to destroy an orc camp. In between episodes, I went ahead and sold all the junk that we accumulated, which is why I'm a little richer, but not wiser. So I also noticed this guy, Erland the Scourge, who we may actually be able to recruit, but that would result in me losing about 9,000 if I were to try him out too. So I would be left with about 5,000. Hmm. Do we do it? I mean, we only need, I think, maybe one more helmet with the, um, with over 230 durability, right? I think so, because we have the decayed full helm, which I'm really hoping does count. Uh, so yeah, I think maybe one more. Okay. Hmm. It's a little risky. Should I not even try him out? No, we should definitely try him out. Alright, well, YOLO. So he's got sure footing, a little bit in resolve, two stars in fatigue, and two stars in melee skill. Okay. Hmm. Alright, you know what? He might be worth it. Years of brutal combat with his equally huge brothers left Erland a scarred and scar a scary figure. Ordered to kill our lord's enemies, the hedge knight kicked in the door of a family and slaughtered them all with his bare hands. When the lord refused to pay, Erlen killed him too. Always on the hunt for more crowns, the company of sellswords seemed like a good fit. Oh ho ho! I think I have an idea of who this person might become. Uh, so yes, let's recruit him. 5,000 crowns left. Oh geez. Okay, let's look at his stats. Uh, 63 health, 68 fatigue, 63 melee skill. Not sure if that's like a good range for a hedge knight, but um, sure. So he has a closed flat top helmet, which gives him, gives him 170 durability. Uh, padded kettle helmet, not much better. Alright, so. Thelman does have the mail shirt, which is a little bit better than the basic mail shirt. But if we're gonna switch him out with anyone, I'd say let's switch him out with Halstein? Yeah. Let's give Erlen the Scourge the front row there. And... Are we okay with him using a Great Axe? I think maybe for now. Yeah, for now maybe we're okay with it. But we may want to switch him out for like a one-hander or something. Because that requires 6 AP to use. The... Head splitter is a one-handed axe that requires four AP, so we can potentially get two hits. Hmm, so that would be more damage, potentially. But no, I don't think we've leveled his fatigue quite enough for him to be wielding the head splitter. Besides, I think we want to get him that once we get him like a mastery or something. All right, so Erlen, let me give you some points into mm, melee skill. Fatigue, and I'd say let's go for ranged defense. Yeah. And let's roll some more into fatigue. Some more into melee skill. And do we want to go with hit points this time? Wait, let me see what he has when, he, when we get him uh, Colossus. 78. Yeah, I think that could definitely be a little bit better. Hmm. Alright, sure. Though, it wasn't exact- Ah, oh, man. Got a better roll this time. Damn it. Alright, let's go for melee skill. Uh, some more health. And some more fatigue. Fantastic. And that's about all we can do. We'll give him student, and last but not least, do we give him rotation or do we give him brawny first? I'd say rotation. That's more of a life-saving thing. Yeah. So, 80 fatigue. Not too bad. 87 health. Could be a little bit better, but um, not the worst I've ever seen in my entire life so far. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, and you are... I think... I think this is the return of the um, prodigal son. This is Meteor Ogre. There's only one man in this world that would go around throttling fam entire families with his bare hands. And that man is Meteor Ogre. He has returned to us. <laughs> After his um, paid sabbatical, I guess, to research ways to 
not be a total uh, loser. Fantastic. Uh, let me repair these. Thank you. And I think we're good to go. I'll give you the uh, dagger just in case you need it to stab people and all that such. And let's give you the dagger too. Uh, we need one more dagger, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see what this mission is about. Hopefully it's a patrol one. Actually, let me, let me see what the other ones are first. Um, Caravan to Bramingwold. Uh, it's a decent amount. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Three days worth of work. So this one is... Neveland. Wow, that's pretty far, man. Damn. Uh, we'll think about it. What's this one? What say I give you a task where you are not paid just for doing it, but paid for how many heads you collect? Does that prospect interest you? Because right now I need the lands of Heimstadt and Overstead patrolled. There we go, it's a patrol mission. You take a stroll, kill things here and there, and then return to me within seven days with whatever heads you've collected. Okay. Uh, 84 crowns per head? Really? With 560 when a job is done. Can I be paid more? Oh. Unbelievable. Fine. Man. Damn it, 84 crowns per head. That's not a lot of money, but sure. Hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and clear out some of these crappier garrisoned uh, locations. Oh, there appear to be a lot of undead tussling around here. Beater gangers and armor beater gangers. You know what? That's perfect. That's uh, 22 undead. Sure, why not? Are they running away from me? I can't imagine that these guys are running away from me. But they might be. Or they might have been, rather. Mm, so do we move back by one? I think so, just to get a little bit of an advantage on the high ground. Really hoping that we can see Meteor Ogre with his awesome skills. Uh, I'd say if anything, move down. Sure. Get up on the high ground. And Zeister, you too. Pacifax, Herbert. And I'm actually thinking of maybe just dismissing, um... What's his face? Gebhard Darkhearted, but since I... Had a fairly expensive recent expenditure. Maybe I should wait. Okay, so these guys aren't going to be a problem at all. The armored Vitor gangers, maybe, but not the regular ones. Twenty-two of them, though. <laughs> that is a fair bit, actually. Hmm. Uh, do we wait for them to get a little bit closer? Not really. I mean, we have an eighty-nine percent chance to hit him, so why not, right? We ripped his face off. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is all kinds of hilarious. Sure. I guess that's about it for our round here. Right, folks. Come one, come all. To your immediate demise. Well, maybe not so immediate. Yeah, turns out it's very unimmediate. Ah, uh, there's that guy with a fungus head. I love it. What the hell? Looks like these guys love it so much that they can't even... Bring themselves to shoot the uh, fungus head guy. Fantastic. But they all come back at least once, right? Actually, this would be the perfect opportunity for me to try out um, different things on the on these dudes and see how it all works out. I'm still not entirely sure how they operate, and we need to make sure that uh, Condar is in. What's it? That stance. Spearwall, that's it. Mm, you'll wait. Gerlock, you'll wait. Niels, you'll wait. Oswald, Kondar, Spearwall. Go for it. Because they kind of appear to be bunching up near the top, so... Right, so one of them's come back. Once. We'll just remember that Fungus Head came back once. Gotcha. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Couldn't be bothered to, like, die to Kondar here? Good job with a Spearwalling, by the way. Oh, come on, Transylvanian. What are you so worried about? Good grief. Uh, Meteor, you'll have to wait. Let's go after this guy. Who has yet to die, unfortunately. Thank you. And then go for him. What the fuck? Guys, what is this? Okay, nut. Um, I'd say let's just have you wait. Very good job, Condar. <laughs> Fantastic. 
really cashing out with that uh, spear wall there, aren't we? Yeah. I think so far he's probably done the most damage out of this fight. Um, so let's just keep up the spear wall. Reinhardt, go ahead and stabity stab. Transylvanian, expect you to kill someone at least. What? How could you, Transylvanian? How could you? All right, Niels, I'd say you go for this guy's skull. And you didn't manage to kill anyone. That is quite saddening. I shouldn't have split the uh, thing there. Oh, shit. Wait, this is everyone around him. Oh, damn. I thought it was uh, going to be like the other thing. I see. Hmm. Let's go after this one. Whoa! Fantastic. So this one's been decapitated. So we'll see if he comes back. And not decapitate this one too. Atta boy. And Kondar, you've got your spear wall. Good job. Alright. So Mushroom Head is... Uh-oh. Kondar's being overwhelmed now. Oh, shit. I think he had another uh, thing to use, yeah? Yes, he did. Niels. What in the world, Niels? What in the world? What? Pass effects. How could you? We're we relied on you. And this is how you repay us? Uh, I'd say go for this one who seems to be trying to circumvent our front line, which is obviously a big no-no. Mmm, nice, nice, and Oswald, go for it, boy. Transylvanian, murderate, thank you very much, and we'll of course let them come to us. Alright, so, I think I've only seen one of them come back to life thus far? Yeah, like Mushroom Head, so maybe it's not a guarantee that these dudes come back to life after they've been uh, dropped. Hmm, interesting. All right, go for this one. Gerlock, stabity stab. Niels, you're good. Norman, I think all arranged guys are good. Yes, Transylvanian can get another kill, but not without moving. Hmm, I'd say then just wait. Sure. Oh, okay, so they are coming back. Looks like they're all coming back, as a matter of fact. Uh, I don't know which one lost its head. It's this one. Okay. I may... I don't know if... I guess maybe they come back after two turns or something? Or was that not two turns? I should have kept better track. Um... You know what? Let them come to us. Rather than have yourself surrounded by these jerks. What? You've taken, like, half damage for your entire armor in, like, one hit? Come on, dude. That's not the, um, Band of Degenerates way. The Band of Degenerates way is to, like, lose all your armor completely in one fell swoop. That's how we do things around here. Nice. Uh, pass effects. I'd say let's go for this guy. Good job. Herbert. This guy's bothering me. How dare you, sir. Media Ogre. I think we're gonna have to get you to advance here. Fantastic. And... Good. I was about to lose my shit if you missed that again. Fantastic. Not quite. But that's fine. Oh, jeez. Ondar, buddy. Doing alright? Hopefully. Yeah, his fatigue is, um... It is definitely a problem right now. We're gonna have to jack that shit up. Those are rookie numbers, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Right. Finish him off, thank you. And finish Hitler off. Oh, wait. Did that guy just pick up a weapon? They can do that? Damn. I thought the uh, unarmed ones would just, you know, go about the, their day um, being unarmed and shit, but I guess not. Alright, Neil's advance. And... I'd say pass effects. Maybe get up? Sure. Herbert, finish him off. Thank you. And Meteor Ogre. I'm sure some of these dudes will come back to us, probably. 
but I'd rather be advanced regardless. Mm. And I guess he's kind of the only real option that we can target at the moment. Wow, everyone with their sweet glowing red eyes. It's pretty awesome. Nut. Fantastic. Yeah, it seems that the ones that we decapitated thus far, no comebacks. Which is pretty cool. I guess that kind of makes sense. Though the fallen hero coming back was kind of a surprise. I didn't expect that out of a zombie. Because, you know, usually you destroy the head and that's pretty much it. But apparently not in this world. Gurlock, finish him off again. Thank you. And go for this Goomba. Uh, Niels. I think maybe this guy might be... Yeah. Good. Oswald. I guess you can try to help out a little bit. Fantastic. And that's it. Norman, switch out to your javelin. And you can't throw. Make me sad, Norman. Make me very sad. Mmm. Sure. And Zeister also needs to switch out. Nice. Bit of a surprise hit there. Didn't expect that. Mmm. Pass effects. Throwing axe at a boy. Nut. Finish him. You can't. Well, oops. My bad. Uh, Kondar, go ahead. So I wonder then, because... Who was it? Gebhard Darkhearted, I think. Has the trait... Um, like, fatalities or something, right? Or was it something else? I think it was some kind of trait that gives him the ability to... Have all of his attacks be, like, a fatality. So, I wonder then if that would basically be, like, a guaranteed kill on all these, uh, dudes. Mmm, got to sell the Signet Ring, fantastic. Otherwise, not super amazing loot, but that's fine. Because who has that trait? I'm pretty sure it's Gebhard. Yeah, bloodthirsty, so all kills are fatalities if the weapon allows. So I wonder if then, because I noticed that he used to get a lot of, like, decapitations and such. So maybe, hmm, maybe he's the type that would benefit, or that would be a great use in those kinds of fights. Alright, well, in any case, Sovix, let's get you switching out with Kondar. And Rainbow the Average also needs to get a little TLC, I think. Hmm, but with whom do I switch him? Honestly, no idea. Gibbard, if I were to dismiss you, that's a lot of money. Um, do I want to just get him, like, killed in combat? Might not be the worst idea in the world. More Veter Gangers and Armored Veter Gangers. Okay, well, let's go for it. That might be all we actually need to do. Because, yeah. What kind of terrain are we fighting in, though? Something hilly, I think. Hmm. Okay, well. Hopefully it's nothing too, too... Well, I spoke too soon. Turns out it is absolutely terrible. Just the worst terrain I've ever seen in my entire life. Almost. Mmm... I'd say... Yeah, I mean, there's a clear and distinct, like, lower ground there. So maybe we should just not fall back too much? Yeah... Yeah, I think that might be best. I think I might have moved Thilman a little too far, unfortunately. Well, that's fine. Hmm. So let's have you guys move up. Yeah, I think we only need to, like, go back by one, perhaps. Pass effects, go for it. And Sovix. Yeah, there you go. You can get the high ground. Sure. Transylvanian. Gerlach. Niels. Meteor Ogre. Nut. And for some reason, Oswald is going last, even after... Gurlock the Slow, if you can believe that. Alright, so I have to get Thilman back down, but that's fine. Okay. A lot of dudes. But we kind of knew that coming into this fight. Mm, do we start plonking? I'd say let's start plonking. If you can, that is. Damn. Not very good chances to plonk. But there you have it. Not bad, not bad. Thank you. And I think that's everyone, yep. Alright, foul beasts. 
I'd say let's wait and let them come to us. Sure. Uh, pass facts, you can wait as well. Sovix, you're good. I don't think we need to do Spearwall until a little bit later. And Philman, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, bring them a little closer. There we go. Wait, does it actually say Armored Wiederganger? I don't think it does. I think they're all just classified as uh, Wiedergangers, but um, some of them are a little bit better armored than the others. Fantastic. Whoa! Ah, uh, I thought that was going to be a 3 for. That would have been amazing. Holy shit. Mmm, I'd say sure. Ah, oh, man. Zyster, you almost had it, man. Almost had it. There you go. And then go for this guy. Uh, Sovix, I think it's still a little early to do the old, um, whatchamacallit, spear What the hell, Herbert? Good grief. That was abysmal. Sovix, you can wait. Pretty sure it's gonna be another turn or two before they reach our front lines. Zyster, come on, dude. Get an 82% chance to hit. Oh, shit, I think I skipped someone. Mmm, thank you. At a boy. Oh, wait. Get another um, thing. Shoot. Dang it. Herbert sucks. Why do you suck so bad, Herbert? Why do you suck so bad? Did your mother tell you, teach you how to suck? Jeez. Must have been a hard working lady. Um, I think you guys are decent. Zyster is already gone. Pass facts. What the f What the fuck was that? What the hell? That was abysmal. Wow. Talk about disappointing. And of course they're coming back. Great. Well, we know that, um... Well, it seems that uh, deca deca decapitating them is the uh, way to go here. If that's at all possible. So I suppose the best thing to do is actually to leave all the um, killing blows to not who should be able to just do an aimed decapitation. Good job, Sovix. Uh, I'd say keep up the spear wall. Mm, go for this one. Not bad, not bad. Good, good. Hold them off. Though, um, I guess we should start looking into giving Sovix some better weapons. That's not a spear. Fantastic. Ah... Uh, Kinda of hoping that would be a kill too. Oh well. That's fine. And Thelman has nothing to do because Well, Sovix is keeping them away. What? Transylvanian. I was fully expecting you to kill someone there. Jeez. Uh Niels, hold off. Oswald, hold off. Meteor Ogre, hold off. And Nut. I believe you have an opportunity. Uh not quite one that I was hoping for, but that's fine. Sure. Thelman, you can hold off. And... Gerlock. Stab him. boy. Hmm. A lot of waiting around, but I guess that makes sense considering that zombies are, you know, slow-ass dudes. Zyster. Murder. boy. Wow. Condar with the uh, constant jabbings. It's pretty funny. Nice. Two kills. Transylvanian wait. And not. You'll have to wait as well. Oh, there we go. Finally, we can get some action with these dudes. Mmm. I'd say. Go for this one, who's all by himself. Fantastic. And then this guy. Nope, not quite, but that's fine. Mmm. You know what? I think Nut might have this one in hand, so why don't you go after the one that's. A little bit more of a threat to you, personally. Nice. Bellman? Well, you helped a little bit, I'm sure. Alright, Oswald. Since there's no one else that we need to worry about right now, go ahead and smack him. Right upside the head. Meteor Ogre? Please murder in one hit. Not quite. That's fine, I guess. Mmm. Hmm. Transylvanian. a boy. Though, 
lot of these guys will be coming back, so I guess... Hmm... Maybe keeping them in their original positions isn't the worst idea in the world. Yeah, okay. Okay. Murderate? Gerlock? I'd say... Probably have an easier time killing him. There you go. I can get your killing frenzy and do all your wanton destruction and whatnot. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, Niels, finish him off. And do we advance? I think so. Hmm. Sovix? Hope you're doing alright there, buddy. Hope you're doing alright. Fuck that guy, man. What's his deal? What is that? What's what's your deal? Can we get a decapitation? And another one? Fuck yeah. Holy crap holy. Alright, Transylvanian, let's have you move up and start wailing on this dude. Thank you very much. Herbert. Uh I'd say oh. Surprisingly decent. Not the best I've ever seen, but surprisingly decent. And that guy's wide open for receiving of gentle thrusts into his rotten butthole. Fantastic. I think that's everyone this round. Yes, sirree. Okay, so we got two back, which isn't the worst. Go for him. And a boy. How dare you bite my dude? Well, it's a good thing that um, zombies in this world don't operate like they do in, like, you know, modern um, zombie uh, movies. You ever notice that uh, zombies in like uh, in like medieval uh, fantasy uh, settings don't spread like their um, their disease and their their zombieism by uh, via biting? I guess it's because um, in those kind of like uh, TV shows or movies or whatever, they tend to be more a result of necromancy rather than a virulent um, plague or virus, right? Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. I don't know if you guys have too. I'm sure someone else has also noticed that. I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world. And you can't get a murderation on this guy right now. Well, if you can kill him now, if someone could kill him now, we might be able to prevent another dude from coming back up. Damn it, I don't think anyone can. Shiitake mushrooms. Oh, well, I mean, it's only one dude, so we should be all right. Or not, apparently. Mmm, pass effects. Can't quite get the throwing axe there. There you go. Zeister has fixed that problem for us. Fantastic. So, who took damage? Niels took a little bit of armor damage, but otherwise, completely fine. Have some more silverware. Wait, where exactly are we getting this strange meat from? It's not from the zombies, is it? You're telling me that we're collecting um, long pork from zombie meat? Why is that blinking? Is it an arcade telling me that I need to insert more coins? I don't understand. Heimstadt, what's your problem? Why are you blinking so much? And also, man, I think we kind of got screwed out on the, um, the stuff here. Why is that blinking? That's so bizarre. All right, well, let me check Heimstadt for potential food. Eh, it's a little expensive. We'll take the roots and berries, though. Sure. And I think that's about it for now. Uh, do I need to set anything to repair? I don't think so. All right, so far, I'd say Meteor Ogre is a decent purchase, I think. I mean, I could be wrong, but so far, it does seem like he is kind of up to snuff, so... Maybe I made the right choice there. Be sure to have these fully repaired. Yeah. The armors and whatnot, not so much, but yeah, definitely that stuff. All right, so to Overstead, and then, uh-oh. An Armored Unhold, a Barbarian Beastmaster, and some Reavers. Are they coming towards us? I think they are indeed coming towards us. I'd rather not in get involved in this tussle right now. But thanks. Thanks for the offer, guys. I do appreciate it. Yeah. So we're basically going to just completely um, shrug our uh, duties as patrolsmen. 
and um, ignore it completely. So, where to now? I guess Dinkle's... Oh, fuck, we don't have any tools. I see. Okay. Not the best prices at all. Not even close. But it'll have to do. Anyone to hire? Nope, same dudes as before. And then there's Garlock the uh, Witch Hunter. Maybe. But not right now. No major injuries. Oh, we've already checked that out. Let's booze it up a little bit. Ruins of Kragenheim. Mmm, snow to the west. I see. No guarantees that there's a unique item, but sure. So I guess we just go to a Dinkle's Mark again, yeah? Okay, well, let's do that. Let's head back to Dinkle's Mark, and then we'll probably end the episode. I mean, we will definitely end the episode. Uh-oh! 11 Orc Young. Well, they don't seem to want to tussle with me, so I guess I'm good there. Yeah, uh-oh. Thralls and Warhounds. Nope, they're not coming towards me. Good. Yeah, I've noticed that I think there's a lot more um, roaming groups of uh, bad dudes whenever you pick up uh, patrol missions and whatnot, which I guess kind of makes sense. 3,500 crowns? Come on, man. Fuck, I could have made a lot more, rat bastard. Oh well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and I guess we will try to earn back the money that we lost hiring, um, uh, what's his face, Meteor Ogre. Yeah, I feel like we could have squeezed out like another thousand crowns if we had uh, succe succeeded with our negotiations, but maybe our reputation is good enough or something. It is open now though, so it's slowly getting better. Hmm. So it seems that the reputation and whatnot actually goes down after a little while. Sorry, the relations. Because I'm pretty sure I was really on in really good terms with Kromvader, but I haven't been there in a while, so or done missions there, so I guess it's going to fall by the wayside. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!